What's up guys? Um, welcome back, welcome to part 3 of Ether 1. Um, when we left off, we just restored our first projector and the music began to play. So here we go, we're gonna move on through, follow the music. So uh, she says the rock is the problem. How could something so pretty be so destructive? Destroy it any way you can. Once the task is done, I'll be able to extract you from the memory and place you in another. She wants us to destroy the rock. Here's another crusher. Obvious choice. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> stars are passing me by, burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful, so fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. So I believe that's the end of the tutorial and uh, we should be into the actual game now. Once the pinwheel does its business she goes saying about the uh, the core memories um, and the first area has appeared on the map which is pinwheel harbor so we want to get in there and get those core memories but first we need to collect the eight ribbons so we're gonna press triangle and here we are we're finally in to the actual game so now we start searching like crazy for anything 
anything that we might think uh, would be useful or valuable and also anything that we like because we need to collect as much as possible and fill those shelves and get that achievement finally right. let's try to make sense of all of this explore whatever you can and i'll keep in contact with any new information i um i've been after these trophies for well since i started playing the game so it's really cool now that we can finally get them Here's a yellow dial, which is very useful um, for unlocking doors, safes, vaults, all sorts of stuff. And there's three yellow dials in this first area to collect, so let's see if we can find the others. There's a pinwheel. Shame we can't pick that up. And there's our first red ribbon. You found one. A memory fragment. Good work. A ribbon. This must be Jean's representation of them within her mind. So, uh, triangle to check ribbons. There we go, there's our first red one. And here's a bottle of J.D. Taylor, which... Um, first time playing I just thought was, you know, another bottle, but it's not just a bottle. You guys will see what that means later on. So let's continue on. In fact, let's take both of them because we need to fill those shelves. No, go back there next to your buddy. And uh, we'll continue on. We won't go down here because we started in this house. And it, we were pointing this way, so this way is the way we shall go. Down there is the actual harbour, but we're going to look in this house first. I must say, I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding and, well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope. And it's very important that I, sorry, we succeed. Yes, Phyllis. Um, so in this little house here, we found not only a red ribbon, but another yellow dial. So that's two out of the three that are in this first area and two out of the eight red ribbons and we can hear a sound which tells us that there's a red ribbon close and there it is you know I am sorry about the four the relapse and all just remember it's incredibly important that we trust each other don't worry too much about her brain I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. We're gonna steal these people's cups because we need them for our shelves. And there's nobody in this ghost town anyway. Oh look, we'll hit the radio. We'll take some of that. Why did the radio go off? A lover's note, number three, so where's the other two? And it has numbers at the bottom there, four numbers, that's a code, so... Zero, nine, eleven... Uh, that's a... I wonder if that's intentional. Um, anyway, zero, we'll remember that. That's Hello. an easy one to remember. I don't think anyone's here. Hello? Take the teapot. Guess what? Teapot. Magnifying glass. 
See, so we're doing pretty well already with this one uh, set of shelves. Take the money bag. Oh, the coin sack. I think we need that later on in the game. There's never anything in the bathrooms usually except uh, a pill pot. Random pills. We don't want those. <laughs> Random pills aren't good for anyone. Is note number one. And a lover's note number two. And a gold telephone. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. So um, as you can see, we found a gold telephone and we got one blue light. But there's still five left to find, so we're gonna go find the rest of them as we progress. I think that's everything in this little house, so Let's move on. The game sound um, seems to be glitching out a bit. I hope that's just on my end. Did I ever tell you about an odd colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants? Taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another. An attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. The game audio is definitely glitching out for me. I hope uh, it's okay for you guys. The tone, the rhythm, just... Listening to that melody would never get old. sure there's something else going on in this room. It won't let us take this uh, note here. 0427. We're going to remember that. just heard a noise there which means uh, that was the sound of a projector coming together so we did something right I'm gonna take a bell's magnifying glass and put it with our other one getting a nice little collection of stuff and let's continue on oh that's that's gonna be uh, the end of this video guys um, thanks for watching and we'll continue on exploring the harbour in the next one.